Hi guys, it's me Ori again and basically in this match I'm just gonna show you how we turned a possible lose and tie into a win even if we made a couple of mistakes. Okay, so you can see and Dorsey and I are dueling in this match and we're going against the Pio. Um, he sees Endorsey vaulting, which does cause him to go to Shaq towards Endorsey because she is mechanic, which is the fastest decoding in this team. Unfortunately, she does run into him, and honestly, Bio does a really good prediction there and notices that she would go around it rather than through Shaq. I think she. Okay, she does make a mistake here. I think she should have gone to the pallet. So she didn't really know what route to go. Unfortunately, she does go down here. I think what Endorsey could have done was possibly drop down the pallet in Shaq. So then she can have a lot of more distance between Vio. Okay, so what she did really well here is keep her bot alive. So now she's going to do Shaq, Shaq Cypher with the bot. Here, Vio is camping, and he saw a prisoner, so he was trying to like, slow him down and get some free hits, just in case he tries to rescue. Uh, and Dorsey and I were in a call in this match, I believe, so uh, we did decide to rescue her after half, just so she would have more time to decode. So now it was a bit after half, so I started going to the chair, using my elbow pads, he was chasing bot and prisoner and then I went to rescue and he started chasing and Dorsey again. She heads towards ruins which is one of the most strongest kiting areas in sacred. She drops the pallet down here which creates distance. Then she vaults this window and violinist does try to note her here but she does a really good dodge. Because of Vileness for skill, she does get slowed down by a lot, so she does get down here and Vileness was able to get a Terra Shock. She tries to use her bot to try and finish that Cypher as much as she could because she is dead on chair, which means her bot won't work after she flies off. Now Vileness knows that that Cypher was shaking, so he does go and check but the only person there was the bot, and it does give him tinnitus. He puts down a peeper, thinking it'd be someone else, but unfortunately for him, it was just the bot. He goes somewhere else to look around, see what ciphers are shaking to find his next target. back at Shaq and I think he did that to make sure that cypher wasn't being decoded considering it was almost basically primed. Gravekeeper was found and he's using this area to his advantage. I'm not really sure why he went to those two pallets, they're not as strong of a kiting area. Unfortunately he does get noted there and because violinist has full presence he uses it and he does get down, which you can't really do much about considering he was just vaulting a pallet. Violinist now chairs him and yeah, we only have two ciphers left. So I finish my cipher and come to rescue. The cipher, as you saw the cipher progress ping, it was around 28 now. My controls here for some reason went insane and it didn't work properly. So. I do get hit here, but I was able to elbow pad to the chair, which allowed me to rescue him without getting double hit. Unfortunately, he does get hit by a note last minute, right after he got rescued. So at this moment, I'm waiting for the cypher to be at least almost primed so I can rescue. I know it was gonna be primed by the time I get there, so I do elbow pad to create less distance, so I will have less of a chance to get stuff. I dodge that no, and then make him hit me with a normal attack recovery. He does teleport, but 
our cipher was prime, so I just went for it and we were able to get the rescue. Now prisoner is opening the other gate and I'm getting there, whilst gravekeeper tries to buy as much time as he can to so we can get a tie. He did a really good dodge there with the full presence notes. <laughs> Unfortunately, violin swings and does miss. And Dorsey did tell me that the dungeon was there near Gravekeeper. So I told everyone that the dungeon was there and we all left. And we got a victory because Gravekeeper was able to escape through dungeon. And we got a win. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that this was able to help you. Bye.